Hey everybody, I'm Ari, the rabbit guy, and I'm here with Beanie the bunny. And in this video, you're gonna find out how to stop your bunny from pooping all over the house once and for all. And today we're gonna give you five simple steps to successful litter training for your rabbit. So let's get started. So step one is to get your rabbit a litter box. And this litter box is a, what they call a large size cat litter box or bunny litter box for that matter. This is actually Beanie's real litter box that he uses every day. This box is a plastic regular litter box. You can get them anywhere. I put the link to the litter box and other supplies in the description below so you can check out what Beanie's favorites are. Next, step two, find the perfect location. Depending on the size of your home or the layout of your rabbit habitats, it's also a good consideration to think about where you want your rabbits to be doing their business. You can actually place the litter box in a, an area that's very convenient for you to take it in and out in order to clean it frequently and refill the hay inside, everything else. I recommend a corner because that way the rabbit has their space but they also feel like there's a privacy element and they feel safe here because they are confined to the side of a wall. So that works really well. Depending if you have a larger home and you have free rain rabbits, you may want to have a few litter boxes put strategically around the house. You could have one in their cage and then one in an area that they can get to in case for any reason they stay in one area during the day and move to another area at night. I know that Beanie likes to go in the kitchen during the day and he likes to sleep there and take his afternoon nap. So there might be a litter box that you put in the kitchen, for example, for your rabbits so that they have a place to go without trying to find their way back to their habitat. Step three is pet pads. Thirdly, our puppy pet pads, okay? So these are available in the description. You can see what, which ones Beanie uses. Um, these are absorbent pad with multiple layers and it's got plastic around the corners so that you can actually insert it into the litter box. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a minute. This comes in different quantities. Um, this box has 100 in them. Um, you should be changing these at least once or twice a day, just depending on how your rabbit's behaviors are and, and uh, routines. But these are the pet pads. We're gonna actually take one of our pet pads that I showed you earlier, and we're going to spread it out the cloth side or the white side up so that it is obviously absorbent. So what I like to do is just use my hands and kind of spread it out as if I'm making a pizza here. And this will allow it to kind of stick to the corners of the litter box and make sure that it's flat and that there's no areas where it's sticking and it's, the bottom is exposed. Now I will say there are some people that like to use kitty litter to absorb some of the urine, some of the liquid at the bottom of the box. But if you are gonna use a kitty litter, that's perfectly fine make sure that it's unscented and it's clump free. So it should be a paper-based litter only. And the reason for that is if a rabbit eats a traditional chemical kitty litter, it can be very, very dangerous for their system. So make sure that it is a paper-based, like a cardboard recycled compost type, and that it is, of course, without any scent and no clumping. Step number four is hay. Now the next important thing that you need to have is hay. So Beanie likes to have fresh hay at all times, and this is a oat and timothy blend. So this is hay that's perfect for adult rabbits like Beanie. Now this is a toy chest. This is really easy to do just by putting a giant plastic liner bag into any toy box. This is a nice wooden one, uh, very simple, very light, but holds about one full bag of Beanie's hay. So it's perfect for anybody that wants to just keep it out of sight and keep kind of a clean rabbit habitat. So next I'm gonna take a generous handful of hay and I like to get a good amount of both the crumbs and the long straw pieces and I'm actually going to just place this at the bottom of the litter box. So this is really important because as we talked about before, we want your rabbit to get in the habit of actually eating the hay and being able to do their business in the same place. I'm gonna insert this into Beanie's home and as you can see, he's going to jump right in. And step five, is patience. It's important to be patient and give your rabbits time to adjust to using their new litter box. And remember these three bonus tips. Trash bags and trash cans should be placed in an area close to the litter box for easy cleanup. If your rabbit leaves droppings around the house, sweep them up quickly and put them into their litter box instead of throwing them away. They'll notice the scent of their droppings and notice that they are in the box as they are very scent-oriented animals. 
Their sense of smell is very strong and they'll associate those droppings as a reminder to do them in their litter box next time. Last and most importantly, spaying or neutering your rabbit is going to give you much better results with regards to litter training. They're going to be able to pick up litter training much quicker, they're also going to be less territorial, and not to mention the health benefits that come along with it. Okay hoppers, that's it for this video. I am so excited to have had a chance to share with you the secrets to a rabbit poop free home. Be sure to share your experiences with litter training in the comments below. This is the first in a series of rabbit care videos that Beanie's going to be putting out, so we'd love to hear your feedback on what you thought about today's video, what you liked, what you didn't like. Be sure to like and subscribe to Beanie the Bunny's channel for more exciting videos and more rabbit care and tips videos just like this one. So we're looking forward to your feedback and we can't wait to see you next time. I'm Ari the Rabbit Guy from Beanie the Bunny. Bye hoppers! Beanie. 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 Bye.